Hi, my name is Phil and I'm a senior lecturer in astrophysics at the University of Lincoln and I want to use this really short video to just introduce what the ecliptic is in astronomy. So the first thing to really note is that the Earth orbits the Sun, which you're probably aware of. That's the key thing really when we're going to discuss the ecliptic. So the Earth is orbiting around the Sun in this kind of manner here. Obviously that's not to scale, that's just to give you an idea of the fact that it's going around the Sun I suppose. Um, the ecliptic then is actually the orbital plane of the Earth. So if we kind of just use that, the plane of the orbit and expand out, then that is going to be our ecliptic. So that's essentially what it is in short. But the Earth's rotation axis is tilted to the ecliptic. So if we actually look at the rotation axis of Earth, it's not the same as the rotation axis as the Sun and the orbital plane of Earth. It's actually tilted to the ecliptic. So as we go around, we kind of move around in that there. So the celestial equator is inclined to the ecliptic by about 23.4 degrees or thereabouts. And that's basically related to the axial tilt of Earth. So that's the rotation axis of Earth, it's tilted over by that amount, that means that the celestial equator is inclined by the ecliptic by that amount as well. And the celestial equator is essentially the equator around Earth's equator. So as we're rotating, that celestial sphere around there relates to our sphere, I suppose. And then the orbital plane of Earth is the ecliptic. So the celestial equator and the ecliptic are inclined by the amount that the Earth's rotation axis is also inclined. So the ecliptic is quite useful. So if we look out into the night sky, it is going to be the orbital plane of the solar system. So things like the planets and the sun and that will kind of move along the ecliptic. So if we mark out the ecliptic in the night sky with regards to the constellations, the stars and things like that, you'll most likely find your planet somewhere along that line because the orbital, or the, sorry, I should say the plane of the solar system is, well, it's the ecliptic, but all of those planets are, are in the plane of the solar system. Pluto is obviously a bit out of that because it's quite inclined, but the rest of the planets are fairly close to the, the plane of the solar system and they'll appear to kind of move along this ecliptic in the sky. So, Thank you for watching. If you enjoy the video, then do consider kind of becoming a member. It helps support the channel and also we have extra videos in the members section as well.